I a pledge of allegiance to the flag of United States of America and to republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, I'm Brock Bidlack, Fairless Superintendent, and I want to welcome you to the 2020 graduation commencement of Fairless High School. This virtual graduation ceremony tonight is the first for all of us, and we are privileged to be able to create this ceremony for all of our outstanding graduates. You have laughed, cried, expended much time and energy. You have persevered and shown much grit to reach this day, and I wish each of you prosperity and success in your life ahead. To the family and friends, thank you for your unending support for your special graduate. They could not have done it without you and they will continue to need your love and support. So graduates, I leave you with this. Every person passing through this life will unknowingly leave something and take something away. Most of this something cannot be seen, heard, numbered, or scientifically detected or counted. It's what we leave in the minds of others and what they leave in ours, memories. The census doesn't count it and nothing counts without it. So graduates, again, congratulations, and go Falcons. Hello, Falcon Nation. I have the honor and privilege of introducing the outstanding senior boy and girl. The outstanding senior girl is easy to describe. She's a senior, she is a girl, and she is outstanding. If I mention any particular thing she has done while in high school, you will probably guess her right away. Let's narrow it down. This young lady takes college classes. She is a member of the Fairless Marching Band and enjoys her church youth group. She is a member of the Fairless Chapter of the National Honor Society and is a member of Fairless Student Council. If you looked in the Falcon Yearbook, you will see her picture. And if you read the Falcon Review newspaper, you will see her name. In conclusion, she has been in 4-H forever, was the September teen of the month, won a national championship with Studio 136, has a twin sister, and has tap danced on a square box during a halftime show. I am proud to announce that the 2020 Outstanding Senior Girl is Miss Catherine, as we all finally know her, Miss Katie Fike. The outstanding senior boy is also very active at Fairless High School. He too is hard to describe without giving it away at the beginning. Obviously he is a senior, a boy, and is outstanding. He is a member of the Fairless chapter of the National Honor Society, has taken college classes, and is active in his church. He has been on the new turf football field playing ball or bounding over hurdles. His coaches describe him as a gentleman, a leader, and a student who hasn't stopped growing. One coach even describes him as very tall. This young man plans on attending the University of Akron and majoring in bioengineering. He was a member of the fall homecoming court and has been seen bouncing a ball in one hand and kicking a ball in two different sports. I am honored to announce the 2020 Outstanding Senior Boy who is a four-sport athlete, Mr. Kyle Hunter. There are three graduation speakers for the class of 2020. Our first speaker is Ms. Catherine Fike. She is the daughter of Michelle and John Fike of Navarre. Katie is the editor-in-chief of the Falcon Review newspaper, editor of the Falcon Yearbook, and the section leader of the Fairless Marching Band Dance Line. She is a member of the Fairless Chapter of the National Honor Society and Student Council. Katie danced her way to a national championship with Studio 136 and was the 2019 Fall Homecoming Queen. She will be attending the University of Finley to major in pre-med with a final goal of becoming a veterinarian. Here she is, Miss Katie Fike. Hello, I would like to welcome my fellow classmates, their families, and their friends to the Fairless High School's Class of 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. It is truly an honor to be chosen by my classmates to speak at our graduation ceremony. I understand that this is not how 
we would any of us have dreamt this to be since we were in kindergarten. Before I dive into any of that, I would first like to thank the administration and the entire Fairless Local School staff for guiding the class of 2020 to this very moment. The past 13 years have truly been a great journey for all of us. Secondly, I need to congratulate my classmates. We made it, we did it. This part of our journey is coming to an end, but first, let's take a look at some of the highlights and speed bumps we encountered along the way. Our journey began in the fall of 2007 when we walked into Fairless Elementary School for the first time. That is where the memories and friendships all began, and they continued for the next six years, from Q and U getting married, to class music programs and classroom parties, to movie days, field trips, and field days. We all created unforgettable memories. While we were there, we all thrived as we had to overcome some challenges, but that never stopped any of us from pursuing our goals and dreams. We had many award ceremonies to showcase all of our amazing accomplishments, and every time when a year came to a close, we got one step closer to this day, high school graduation. The next step of our journey started in the fall of 2013. We were entering middle school. It was exciting and terrifying all at the same time. We had upgraded from cubbies to lockers. We started switching classrooms almost every 40 minutes. We were starting to grow and mature. Throughout the next three years, our bonds with each other would grow even stronger. We had many fun adventures like middle school dances, group projects, field days, and even a trip to Cedar Point. Some of us even found our passions as we began adventuring in sports, the arts, and other fun activities. But one of the most defining moments from our middle school career that we all have in common was the fire that robbed us from our last few months of enjoying life at the middle school. At that moment, many of us were confused and devastated. But what we did not know was that this was just a small speed bump in our journey and that we had, we had and will have many more adventures and speed bumps ahead of us. Due to that unfortunate speed bump, the next part of our journey began in the spring of 2016. Although we were still in eighth grade, our time at the high school started a little earlier than expected. We were put in storage rooms and some of the smallest classrooms to be accommodated for the last few months of our eighth grade. But soon after that speed bump, we became freshmen at this school, and we would spend the next four years here. This part of the journey caused many people to make so many more memories from nervously walking up and down the steps and trying not to fall while looking for your new classes, to rushing the court and field after beating Tesla, going to homecomings and proms, performing in the plays and musicals, lettering in a varsity sport, making it to state, exploring the streets of New York, or going to Virginia Beach with the band, creating pages in the yearbook and taking pictures for Mrs. Courtney, or drawing portraits and making boxes out of clay in art class to stressing about tests and exams in Mr. Pauly's math class, or playing board races in Sarb's class, joining different clubs like Key Club and Student Council, or being inducted into the National Honor Society. And there are so many other memories that I could go on and on describing, but unfortunately, we would be here a lot longer than anybody would want. Along with all those spectacular memories came many heartbreaks, hardships, and even more speed bumps. We must realize that this speed bump will not be our last one. But for now, I do not need to reiterate the numerous speed bumps that this pandemic crisis has caused us and will continue to cause. But we all know and understand that it has led us to this very moment. I did not come here today to dwell on the events that didn't happen, but rather celebrate the ones that did. For those of you that don't know this, this class, the class of 2020, is the very first graduating class to go completely through all three of the new Fairless Local Schools that were established in 2007. That right there makes our class unique and a form of history to this school. As far as unique goes, the definition is the following, unlike anything else. In my opinion, I think our class perfectly fits that description. No other class can say that their wing of the school caught on fire, or that they had a virtual graduation ceremony because of a pandemic, or even that they made history like this at FHS. We all know the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And it may sound extremely cliche, but it is true. We persevered and adapted during this massive speed bump in our journey, but we still made our final destination together. 
However, this is not the end of the road for any of us. We have just come to a split in the road. From here, each and every one of us will decide which road to continue our journey on and make our own decisions. I leave you with this. Take control of your ambitions and desires. Follow your dreams. Don't take things for granted. Attitude is everything. Take action. Face any and all obstacles that you may face because we will get over the speed bumps on the road. Thank you, Fairless, for the laughs, the cries, and everything in between. Thank you to all of the staff that have blessed each and every one of us and influenced us at some point during this journey. Thank you for this opportunity to share my thoughts and words with all of you. To my fellow graduates, be proud. We are strong. We are unique. And we are the class of 2020. Our second speaker is Ms. Landon Gunlack. She is the daughter of Tamara Schilling of Navarre and Jay Gunlack of Cleveland. Landon is the secretary of the class of 2020 and was a delegate for Girls State. She is a member of the Fairless Chapter of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Student Council, and Fairless Marching Band. Landon also received a bronze and gold medal in moot court and is a four-year art student. She will be attending Cleveland State University in the fall and majoring in international relations. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Landon Gunlack. Hello, fellow peers of the 2020 graduating class. Today is the day that we've all been working towards. Although none of us could have ever imagined that we'd be faced with these circumstances, we have courageously marched towards the finish line. We have proven that when faced with adversity, we have the strength to work through our struggles that are in front of us, and that we have the perseverance to work through any hard times that may lie in the future. Looking back on our time in school, think of all the things that we've done together, all the things we've achieved. How about when we brought back the blue cup? It was almost the end of the fourth quarter, and we were down by six points. Not willing to give up, we all ra rallied together by the field and cheered on our team. With only seconds left on the time clock, our time made its final play and scored the points that would seal our victory. Or what about the time in middle school when the eighth grade section of the building had its roof catch on fire due to lightning? We had basically had to jump into high school early, finishing our last few weeks of middle school in the, eighth, in the high school classrooms. And let me tell you, being the small fish in the school, quite literally in my case, was definitely nerve wracking. Yet, we kept going to class and completing our work. We didn't let that unfortunate circumstance stop us from completing our goals, but we made the most of the situation. We came to see that the time we lost in middle school wasn't lost at all. Instead, we've came to have a unique story that we can all share for years to come. I'd like to think that we'll be able to do the same when we think back to this time in our lives. Although we might have some trying times in the last few months, and we've also shared some unique memories with our friends, family, and class, I mean, who will ever forget the long and sometimes trying amounts of time we spent with the people in our households, or the hours spent at a time on a Zoom call with their friends far and near, or even the time spent on Google Chat meetings trying to figure out why half the group can't access the link. There are you, these are the unique memories that we will always share. No other graduating class can say we've been through this, so let's be proud of what we've done, of what we've accomplished. We, be proud that we have grown, not just in our maturity, but also in our character. Be proud of the work we have done with our clubs, our teams, our friends, and our class as a whole, even if our time was short. Be proud of the moments we've shared, the laughter and the tears, the smiles and the frowns. Be proud, because although there have been days where we felt like we should just give up, we didn't give up. We've all made it here, and we will continue to make it. And with that, I would like to thank all the teachers, staff, parents, guardians, and countless others who took this journey with us. We couldn't have done it without you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Our final speaker is Senior Class President, Mr. Jared Six. He is the son of Vicki and Doug Six of Navarre. Jared has been the Class President all four years. He is a member of the Fairless Chapter of the National Honor Society, on Student Council, and is a member of Falcon Media. He has acted in over 20 plays with Canton Players Guild, North Canton Playhouse, and Akron Civic Theater. Jared plans to attend Pace University in New York City to study stage management this fall. And recently, he placed fourth 
and the national ranking for speech and debate in the category of humor. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 class president, Mr. Jared Six. Hello, everyone. It is my honor today to deliver the commencement address to this incredible, determined student body. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jared Six, and it has been an absolute privilege serving as your class president for the past four years. I stand here before you, or before this camera, to look back on the past four years of legacy we've made together. For the class with seemingly perfect vision, I don't think any of us saw this coming. So, this is how it ends. Growing up, I always adored watching movies that glamorized exactly how my high school career would go. I would dream that one day, I would star in one of those hit blockbusters. Now, I was practical enough to know that my graduating class would most likely not be singing and dancing we're all in this together on this gym floor, but I was still hopeful. But then, we all experienced a sort of trailer to how high school would go when the eighth grade wing caught on fire in the last months of our high school, middle school career and we were forced into the basement of this very school. Now that was terrifying. From that moment on, I knew that our class was unique. Throughout our four years, I know that I certainly experienced a lot of lows, but I also experienced an incredible amount of highs. Each valley led me to another peak. From being what it felt like preyed on by the upperclassmen as freshmen, to exploring New York City our sophomore year, to panicking and stressing about testing our junior year, and winning back the Blue Cup our senior year. Now the director of this movie had not a hint of foreshadowing about what was yet to come, but certainly, this idealized movie I had in my head might be coming true. However, our story never got the proper ending. It feels like the director of this movie left us off with one of the biggest cliffhangers of cinematic history. If I had known that Friday, March 13th, 2020, would be my last day of high school, I would have walked those to halls one last time with my fellow seniors, soaking up every moment. I would have lived that day a bit differently. Unfortunately, I don't have a rewind button on my diploma, but here's how it would have gone. I would have started that day by exclaiming my biggest and proudest good morning, Falcons, on those morning announcements one last time. I would have sat in calc class just a little bit longer. I would have filmed in front of the green screen one more time. I probably would have bought a few more of those candy bars. And I would have said goodbye to every single one of my teachers that has helped me along the way. And finally, Despite how silly it sounds, I would have hugged as many of you as possible. I, as many of us, have been forced to realize the value of even of the smallest of human connections. As a social butterfly myself, these past couple of months have been hard. I miss seeing your faces in the hallways. I miss vlogging my day on my Chromebook. I miss spilling tea with Katie Fike in math class. I miss creating shows with Madison Froelich. I miss hyping up Chloe Palfy's killer outfits every day. I miss you, each and every one of you. I so desperately wish I could have gotten my final moments with you. But then, the truth begins to settle in. I will never get to experience prom with you. I will never watch my friends play their final seasons of sports. I will never get to sing along to our musical one last time. I often question why these turn of events happen to us. Why did this malicious disease have to happen now? I wish that these difficult times could have just been the deleted scenes of our movie. We deserved every moment that we were robbed of. But then, I remember that we are the class like no other. We have been persistent through the unthinkable. We cannot deny how much our eyes have been opened during these difficult times. This has been a time of terrible loss. People have lost lives. Many have lost jobs, money, and plans for the future. It might seem frivolous to be upset about losing our senior year, but we are all grieving. Our feelings are perfectly valid, but we cannot dwell on them. We are all grieving together, and therefore, growing stronger. What is happening to us may be unique, but in no way does that make us disconnected from history. We are the world, and history has found us. We will survive this, 
and grow stronger despite the evil that plagues the earth. So class of 2020, I thank you. Not sorry, thank you. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for proving time and time again that we are resilient. Seniors, after today, we are all going to go on our separate ways and play different roles in other people's stories. Some of us will stay main characters in other people's stories. Others will make occasional cameos. And some of us will exist only in the featured highlights when we play back our senior year. But despite how many sequels and spin-offs we may have, we will always be rooted back to this high school. To the class of 2021, 2022, 2023, and every class that will succeed us, cherish every moment you get in this high school. When you get back to school, laugh a little louder, love each other just a little harder, take pride in all of your successes, and learn from your failures. To the staff, administration, and anyone who has guided me along my story, I am who I am because of you. You have taught me so many valuable lessons that I will carry with me forever. I want to thank Mrs. Witter and Mrs. King for being excellent senior advisors. Thank you for being patient and understanding. I want to also especially thank my family for being so supportive during this time. So many wonderful people have shaped my life in some way. And because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Ms. Barkin and Ms. Jones, I know you'll get that one. And finally, one last time to my seniors. No matter what has been stripped away from us, we are and will always be the fearless high school class of 2020. And that in itself is something to be proud of. There is no doubt in my mind that we have left our legacy. And we should be proud of that. Smile during these times, even when you're feeling most down. We deserve to celebrate and congratulate each other. So thank you. Now roll the credits. Well, actually not yet. This isn't where it ends. This is only the beginning. See you later, Falcons, and continue to soar to excellence. Thank you. Graduating seniors of 2020, even during this unusual time, you are graduating today because you worked so very hard more than you played. You are giving more than you've taken. Your graduation has not been canceled, it has merely been reimagined. Often we think our plans have been rejected. We find that actually we're merely re redirecting towards another and better goal. We can't reach goals in front of us if we don't let go of the past. It hasn't been the senior you dreamed of. The pandemic has taken lives, jobs, and peace of mind. But it will not stop you from making your future dreams come true. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you've come. While this senior year has taken things from you, such as your prom, a regular graduation, and disrupted, disrupted the ordinary, there's nothing ordinary about you. Tap into the greatness that got you out of the bed every day and the grit and tenacity you've shown to be a well-accomplished young person. We're still in the storm, but it is now your turn to rise above all of this. Who would have ever thought that you would have a graduation for the whole world to see? If you're brave enough to say goodbye to this transition in your life, you'll be rewarded with a much better and gratifying hello. Graduating 2020 seniors, congratulations. It's your turn to move us to the future. At this time, Mr. Bidlack and the members of the Board of Education, I certify that these students have met all the criteria necessary for graduation, as outlined by the State of Ohio, and they're ready to receive their diplomas. Julie Ann Abuel. Caitlin Anna Lee Adams. Caitlin 
Gavin V. Alexander. Owen W. Ann Stein. Caitlin Nicole Ashton. Haley Hartman. Cheyenne Ruby Baus. Cole Stephen Baylor. Devin Nathaniel Beresford. Angelina Marie Bischel. Jacob G. Birchler. Riley Nicole Brady. Trevor Briggs. Ronald Lawrence Buchanan III. Raven Marie Burge. Jacob Les Burkett. James Edward Birkin.
Jeannie Sue Ann Burkett. Christopher Robert Byler. Brianna Lauren Childers. Sierra Lynn Cox. Colton R. Cross. Kylie Ann Davis. Daniel Isaiah Deckard. Allison Jean Diekman. Krista Marie Diekman. Matthew Austin Deepman Kaylin E. Douglas Benjamin Fetters Everhart. Catherine May Fike. Kendra Lynn Fike.
Emma Rose Fisher. Zachary Kyle Fowler. Madison Elizabeth Froelich. Kylie Lynn Gamble. Tristan Garlinger. Jacob Jesse Godman. Brittany Marie Groff. Landon Aubrey Gunlock. Jasmine Nicole Hacker. Angela Marie Hall. Josh Hansbarger. Sarah Ann Hartong. Ethan Michael Askew. Preston Scott Hassman.
Brannon T. F. Hughes. Kyle Vincent Hunter. Joshua Alden Hilton. Russell P. Justice. Nathan Calliker. Lindsay Renee Kennedy. Alexandra Ruth Kirby. Riley Jacob Klein. Dakota B. Kurtz. Cody James Ledsom. Nicholas Charles Long. Jenna Lynn Luckring. Emily Murray Luxembourg. Abigail Ann Lyon. Brianna Lynn Mackey.
Justin Donald Marchand. Colin D. Matz. Kimberly Faith McDonald. Tyler Jean McGonagall. Kylie Elizabeth McPherson. Colton Bradford Miller. Madison Elizabeth Pearl Miller. Hunter F. Miller. Alyssa Madison Neff. Jory Lee Oakleaf. JC Lynn Owens. Chloe Elizabeth Halfey. Gianna Renee Parrott. Summer Faith Patterson. Sean Polly.
Shayla Marie Pauline. Sabrina Carly Pebbler. Caitlin Marie Peel. Gracie Brooks McCarrick. Alexis Page Pena. Amy Elizabeth Pendleton. Sky David William Petz. Luke Alexander Howe. Samir Shakit Raja. Kiera Ashley Ramey. Olivia Ireland Regula. Jacob L. Renner. Natalie Marie Richards. Gabrielle M. Riley Keene. Joshua Paul Roslaw. Lucas Brug.
Kiera M. Sales. Alex Matthew Schaefer. Morgan Grace Schneer. Rocco Thurman Joe Scully. Mason Blaine Shrump. Micah John Schwarzentraub. Kylie N. Seal. Allie R. Cease. Olivia Madison Shepherd. Gracie Lauren Shepherd. Caitlin Rose Simmers. Danielle Elizabeth Simpson. Jared Adam Six. Logan Michael Slutes. Andrew Lee Smith.
Daniel David Snow. Chase Michael Jagger Snyder. Bethany Ann Spiker. Faith Renee St. Jean. Kyle D. Stephan. Nathan Valentine. Richard Valentine II. Kelly Marie Wade. Olivia Renee Wall. Lauren Ashton Winland. Haley Sue Woods. Kayla P. Weimer. <laughs> Thomas Lee Yarger. Justin Thomas Yoder. <laughs> Marissa Alice Yoder.
Samantha Lynn Yoder. Class of 2020, we did it. It's time to turn our tassels.